What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about. We got new clues to talk about. We got waterfowl stuff to talk about. Goose reworks to talk about. Are we getting boats in the Hunter Call of the Wild? I hope you guys enjoy this video. Drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, but let's just jump straight into the video. All right, so we gotta talk about a whole bunch of stuff. Expansive Worlds just finished their community stream today. According to Jaxi in today's stream, we right now have two clues in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Now I believe, it's my belief that the first one is that community update picture that we talked about in last week's video, the waterfowl uh, map. Um, speculation video that I made uh, last week. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. The link will be down below. But yeah, I do believe that that is the first hint. We have scoured Hirschfelden. We've looked through Leighton and we've explored all through Yukon trying to find that spot, that lake with uh, with the big dock, with the boat at the end, with no uh, success whatsoever. We have not been able to find it. Um, and looking at it closer, I think, and I didn't look at it this closely before, but looking at it closer, I think there are actually more boats docked at the end of that lake in that picture. If you look real closely, it looks like there's a whole bunch more boats kind of docked along the edge of the water in that picture. And yeah, we've been looking for that, for that spot. We have not been able to find it. I have not heard from anybody that's been able to find it. A lot of people thought that they knew where that was, and it just turned out to be a spot that kind of looked like that area, but it's not that spot. So... I believe that is the first clue. The second clue, I have no idea. If you guys have any idea what that second clue is, if you find something, you gotta let me know down in the comments and we'll get the conversation going. We'll try to try to get this figured out. But I believe that first clue is that the picture, the community update picture, and I believe it is uh, the first glimpse at the next new map. Of course, I don't know this for sure. I don't know any more than you guys. I'm speculating just like you guys are. But I think that's the next uh, the next map. I think we're getting a, a little look at it in that picture. I'm thinking something like Sweden, something in Europe, maybe Norway or Finland, something in that area. But um, if you guys have ever seen pictures of Sweden in autumn, in the fall, it does look a lot like that. That looks uh, like it could definitely be Sweden. And Sweden, uh, I've wanted Sweden in this game for a long time. I've been making videos about it. Every time we get new clues for a map over the last uh, uh, year and a half or so, I've always added Sweden into my top five picks for the next map. So, so yeah, I would love to see if it is Sweden. I would love that. A lot of amazing potential for Sweden as a map in the Hunter Call of the Wild. I also made a video with my top five picks for the next map in the Hunter Call of the Wild. I go more into detail and into like all the species that I would like to see in those uh, five maps in the Hunter Call of the Wild. And if you didn't see that one, I'll link that one below for you guys too. And uh, check that one out too. But yeah, as far as the clues go, I think we've got one of them. I don't know for sure. Uh, as far as the second one, if you guys know anything, uh, let me know. Okay, so the waterfowl rework. Jaxi talked a lot about this in today's stream. He talked about the ducks, talked about the geese. Uh, it's confirmed that we are getting need zones for geese as we uh, kind of expected. And we talked about in the last video, we are getting uh, goose need zones and the duck need zones are gonna get reworked. Everything's gonna work a little bit different. They are working on uh, behavioral changes, graphical changes, like there's a whole rework coming for the waterfowl ducks and geese included too. So whether or not this means that the geese will actually be able to like land in water or whether or not you're gonna be able to find geese just on the land, I'm assuming that's what it's gonna be. There's gonna be needs zones all around the map for geese. Hopefully some of them will be on land. We'll be able to actually see flocks of geese on land just like in real life. And then with the ducks, the, the duck hunting will be more realistic as well. As far as like all the details, um, we don't know exactly what's coming, but they're working on this for the next update. This will be some, something that's coming with the next update, the waterfowl rework. And uh, I'm just going to load up a little bit of what Jaxi talked about in the stream so that you guys can see it for yourselves. Uh, and as they currently are, the geese will uh, just randomly appear in places and move throughout the map and uh, they'll, they'll disappear. So we're not happy with this. Um, one of the main features in the game is need zones. And uh, we're trying to get with this rework, we're trying to get them more aligned with how the game is supposed to, to run and operate with use of these need zones. And there'll be some big advantages to this. Okay, so first and foremost, let me set everybody's fears at ease. One of the main things that, that, that this rework was to encompass was how our ducks were acting at the need zones, or, or rather worked, they were just sitting there. You know, flapping on shore, stuck in place, stuck on the water. We weren't happy with that. This is what has prompted this, okay? The team, and you know, this reflects everything they do. They want this to work, right? So that, that was a big start. So now with the ducks, they're going to react properly on the need zones. The geese are going to do the same. Now, what does this mean? This means that you will be able to find geese need zones. How that is going to be affected? Well, 
we're gonna have to find out because I don't have all of the info yet, although I have seen some of what's happening and it's pretty exciting. So this is gonna give you, it's not that it's still not gonna be predictable as you're gonna have multiple need zones located all over the map. If you've got need zones in a field over here, does that mean they're only gonna be there? No. Does it mean that all the animal, all the birds from there are gonna fly over there? No. So the need zone addition, um, from what I've seen, it's actually a very good thing. It's going to help. It's gonna help with the, the, the populations. And with this rework, it's gonna help our team maintain and, uh, you know, troubleshoot any issues that could possibly arise in the future. It's it's a big step, my friends. But yeah, so that's really exciting. I'm super excited for the Waterfowl rework. I do believe, if I had to guess, I think we're getting a new map that's gonna tie in with the Waterfowl rework. I think those things are gonna tie in together. And I, if I had to guess right now, I'm guessing that that is a picture of Sweden with boats. Maybe we're getting boats too, and that's the next thing I wanna talk about. So we'll segue right into that now. So there are boats in that picture. There's a boat at the end of that dock, and it looks like there's boats docked at the other far end of that lake as well along the water. So does that mean that maybe they're working on a boat DLC as well? Maybe that will come with the map as well. Maybe we'll get the waterfowl rework and the new map and tying it to that, maybe we'll get some boats. That's probably a lot of wishful thinking. That's something that I've wanted in the game for a long time. Maybe I'm being a little bit ambitious and maybe I'm being a little bit too optimistic, but who knows, man, there are boats in that picture. And like I said, I do believe that is a picture of the next map in the game. Maybe we're getting some boats as well that we'll actually be able to, to, to drive in the game, not just the point to point transfer spots, but actual boats that we can manually drive around and hunt from and duck hunt from boats and uh, that would be incredible. Let me know if that's something that you guys think is maybe coming as well. What do you guys think? Is that something that you want in the game? Let me know down below in the comments. So of course, just to touch back on some of the other notes as well, some of the, the things that have been announced that are coming uh, with the next update. Uh, the, of course, the, the Red Raptor and the Marksman Exact Reflex sites are getting the rework, the customization. We'll be able to change the sizes, the reticles, the crosshairs, and the colors. Um, so that's really cool. So that's still coming as well. So that's another thing to look forward to. But yeah, I think that pretty much sums up what I wanted to talk about. I want to get the conversation going with the clues. And uh, if you guys know anything, let's talk about it. And just to recap, we've got two clues. We don't know. Neither of them are confirmed. It's all speculation right now. Uh, in, the, in the Discord, there is a clues channel in the Caldwell Discord. So jump in there. Everybody's talking about it. Everyone's trying to figure it out. It's a lot of fun. Hop in there and join us uh, in the conversation. If you're not already in there, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. We're getting so close to 25,000 subscribers. I appreciate you guys. Have a good day. Take care. Be safe. And I'll see you guys, as always, in the next one. He looks small to me. <laughs> that's got to be a troll. Yeah, that's not, that's not a diamond. No, sir. Barely touched the lung on that shot. Barely got through.